What's up everyone? Big Black Love here. Well, not a whole lot has really changed, but um, got the cheap shower for now because all the uh, shower stalls we were looking at and wanted were like 8 to 10 weeks factory order. So, yeah, and um, took out the pocket door and now we have a nice big opening into our bathroom, which we're going to leave like that because it kind of looks good. I just got to do the finish work and whatnot. And the floor is done minus the linoleum or tile or whatever we do. Um, I took the drain U-turn pipe off out of the way and because uh, I needed the plywood there to install the shower because it's a glue-in shower and not a mold-in shower. And uh, last night I was working on moving the sheetrock from up there and um, went and bought this cool Versi tool. <clears throat> Roby. Um, I actually thought these were kind of cheap when I was first looking at them at Home Depot. And um, they, the only reason I bought it from there instead of Lowe's, because I don't really like Home Depot. Uh, they did have a huge selection of all these different things. I mean, I got my little 90 degree drill that I bought when I was doing the Volari Custom. And that thing has paid for itself hand over fist. And uh, this one's pretty cool. I actually like it. It's got the uh, the different the sanding blade and then the little plunge cut blade for like taking nails out of walls, floors, or whatever. But uh, this one, I can't do it. There. there we go. And they're durable as hell. This one, the head pops off. And it has interchangeable heads. You can buy these things for like 25, 30 bucks instead of the whole thing for 70 bucks. And then of course it, you know, you can put it at a 90 or backwards or whatever. This thing works good. I mean, it tears the paint a little bit, but this paint, someone didn't do prep work in the past because this paint literally, I had one piece, there was like this whole strip right there. It was like one little tiny piece hanging over. I grabbed it and pulled it and the whole wall stripped off. I was like, wow, dude, we might as well scrape the walls in here. Could be because of the bathroom, too. You know, they didn't use bathroom paint or something. But had the hot water guy, plumber, out yesterday. And uh, probably more than likely going to get a tankless installed. He liked it. All my water pipes are on this wall. Apparently, I'm going to have the most kick-ass hot water ever. So, that's going to be sweet. And I just got to cut this wall back for the sheetrock. I got to see that little plunge cut right there. There was some line there. But I gotta cut all the way up and all the way down. And then I'm thinking we might not put the sink back in. So I'm gonna see if these screw in behind the wall or if they're just gonna stick out. If they're just gonna stick out, probably gonna put the, the sink back. But um, yeah, so I got the three quarters down and then the three eighths. And there is a smidgen of a dip right here. It feels a lot worse than it really is, but it's an eighth inch different on this seam right here. So that's a little bit of a dip right there. But, you know, you're replacing tongue and groove with plywood. Good luck trying to match that up. I could have floated it with freaking some construction glue or something. And yeah, bam, we've been painting. Um, it used to be the red and that ugly brown. We don't even know what the hell we call it. Some people call it butterscotch. Some call it like peach mocha. Don't know what the heck it is. But the scary thing, we pulled the molding off on the walls. We can see a little white stripe where the molding was. But we pulled the molding off and there was even uglier colors. It was like Pepto-Bismol and poop underneath. <laughs> but yeah, we're just prim priming out here for now. You see, I just freaking did some brush work last night to finish off my paint, so I'll have to do it again probably. But, um, we picked out a, I don't know if you'll see this one. A green, it's called, I think this one was gecko green. Yeah, gecko green. And, uh, 
This one doesn't say what it is. Wow, this one doesn't say what it is. Yeah, it does. It does somewhere. I'm blind. Anyways, it's that blue color. And we're doing green on the bottom or blue on the top. And then we're going to do vice versa in the kitchen. Blue on the bottom, green on the top. And then vice versa trim. And then the blue is going to spill out onto that weird brown wall. And then this wall, and then we're gonna paint this down green and this green because from up here, the bottom line there will be green. So then it'll cut down green and that'll be blue. And then this wall will be green and this one will either be blue or green, but we're not doing it yet because I have a bunch of work to do down there at the corner. And yeah, I wasn't thinking about all the paint we need for this and paints like 30 bucks a gallon oh my god and yeah i bought two of each for the living room and kitchen because i figured the living room and kitchen but i figured that it'd probably take an extra half gallon to a gallon i might have to go buy a car and then jessica's office you can probably hear it. oh my god and that's not even the painted wall dun, 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 dun. Ah, oh, damn it. I just threw the door open. Good thing we haven't painted there yet. So, yeah, bam! Look at that. It actually turned out pretty freaking good. It looked crappy last night when it was still wet. There's a few spots you need to touch up. But, okay, so this room is... I don't remember what the color, what color this is supposed to be. But she's got blue for the walls that are still white. <clears throat> this one is... Purple Stripe, it's called. And then this one is... Twilight Meadow. It's kind of like a teal blue. A little bit darker, a little bit more teal than the last one. And then that's going to be the white wall ceiling staying white. And then... Painted the door, and of course the door apparently didn't get primed, so it needs to be painted again. But this wall is going to be blue with purple trim, and we got the purple wall with the blue trim with the purple door. And then that wall is obviously going to be blue with the purple ledge, and then this ledge is going to be blue, leaving the actual window edges white. And other, don't look at the ceiling. Don't look right now. Oh God, I touched the ceiling. Oh man, the tall guy screwed up. But I will say, for freehand bundle, roll over with a brush, that's gotta be one hell of a straight line. You know, considering I was using a two and a half inch cut in brush. I'm pretty proud of that. I haven't painted in a long time. And of course, above my head, it was kind of hard. And the ceiling is really popcorn. I mean, you see where the mold was where I scraped it off? It's all nice and smooth. And bam, mountains. So, yep. But uh, Jessica's sleeping in today. She's got to do a little bit of laundry for work. And uh, I'll probably do a little touch-up in this room. And these things are freaking awesome. They're like two or three bucks a piece. A little silicone thing to go on the top with a pour spout. Seals up for a couple days. So you can mess with your paint. And then uh, we bought all new door hardware. Spent like probably 200 bucks. But we bought fancy handles for upstairs. Similar to this one. The flat style. So all the doors upstairs are going to match nickel finish. And then downstairs they're going to be doors like this. But not bumpy with nickel finish. So yep, I don't really know much else. Uh... Yeah, this is uh, our cheapy $400 get us by for a few years plastic shower tub, which is kind of nice because it's meant for a cement floor and it's got all the bracing underneath it. So don't have to put concrete underneath it or nothing, which I hate having to do that part freaking for showers because, you know, normally you don't have all this stuff and it's a pain in the butt. And 
I'm gonna go downstairs real quick and I'll show you guys the downstairs all buttoned up from the top. The downstairs is open and actually the plumber guy that I had over here yesterday, he works on my grandma's stuff all the time, so he's a good guy, but he was talking about that since this this wall is my main wall that the water is in because you got the kitchen on the other side of this down here. Well, you have the hot water tank and then the kitchen. And then <clears throat> upstairs is the kitchen and bathroom right here. And he's talking about pump popping in the recirc line somewhere in here, whatever, where my sheetrock's already busted open. But as you can see, there is one nail that uh, I put through the vent. But that really doesn't matter because that's just an exhaust vent. But, uh, yeah. She's all ready for sheetrock down here. Minus I have to obviously cut the hole for the drain and replace that pipe stuff. But, uh, yeah. And then, of course, install my exhaust fan back up. But, but he's still got to come over and help me take this, finish taking that down and whatever. So, yeah, I have to... Got a lot cut out for me, but uh, we're getting there. And um, I see it's Sunday today. Uh, it's been a week plus since my last video because it's been busy, slow, tired, sick, and been dragging ass. Um, yeah, actually, I just found out yesterday my dad's in the freaking hospital. He's been having problems breathing, and apparently uh, his hacking isn't just from his smoking and whatever. It, uh, he's had pneumonia for probably three, four, five months. And uh, for being so sick, in the last month or so, he's barely been able to breathe. And yesterday morning, he couldn't breathe and refused to go to the hospital. My mom dialed 911, and the aid cars came and got him. And uh, he is got... Uh, extreme walking pneumonia. They're surprised how he even was moving with as much fluid was in his lungs and um, because of his heavy labored breathing his heart is freaking got congestive heart fucking failure now and he's got lung failure and yeah so he was about ready to die. So and he's being a stubborn asshole. If I hear he's still being a dick, I'm gonna have to go down to the hospital and put my foot down because it's kind of funny. My parents only listen to me. <laughs> uh, my dad gets all bitchy or something, and I'll say something, and he'll actually listen to me, or you know, I'll be like, oh yeah, that's kind of a good idea, or blah blah blah. And you know, same thing with my mom is uh, she'll be bitching or whatever, and I'll say something, and she'll stop. But uh, so. <clears throat> It's kind of kind of weird how uh, parents and grown adult children get along and deal with all the stresses with each other. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so not much else. Um, hope to have a video of something finished soon. Later.